Here we oh, go. We got the cooler plugged in. It's ready to rock. Everybody say beach day. Beach day. Woo! <laughs>「What's up guys? I'm Dan H and welcome to the project. Got my sleeves cut so you know it's a hot one and we're gonna go out onto the beach and I am so glad I got this just in time. This is my 23 quart portable refrigerator cooler so I can't wait to check this out. Let's dig into this baby. <laughs> box in a box. My favorite. Oh wow. Nice looking finish on this bad boy. Here we go guys. The Bouge RV 23 quart cooler refrigerator. Look at all this cool stuff right there. Alright, let's take a look at the size. Thanks to the Igloo ruler. That's pretty cool. Never thought I would actually use this, but <laughs> a nice feature in the Igloo cooler. So we're measuring at 21 inches long. About 13 inches high and about one foot wide. Not bad. And inside, let's see. It looks like it's about 13 inches wide in here. Now inside, got about 10 inches deep, a little less. 10, 10, 13. So just about under a cube in there. We got the cables, excellent. What are you? Little feet, huh, <laughs> cool. Instructions. There we go. There's the power pack and plug for the house. Well, this is great. You can plug this into your home, your AC outlets, or your car, your DC outlets. Pretty sweet. Oh, <laughs> look. We got all four feet, <laughs> extra feet. I've never seen that before. That's pretty cool. All right, here we are in the back of the Commander. Here we go. This side has all the electronics, all the refrigerating uh, technologies, if you will. Swing it around. There we go. Looking good. We got both seats folded down in the back back. And let's peel that. Here we go. We got our 12 volt DC here. And look at this, 12 volt DC here. Can't be a coincidence. All right, so this looks like the good old AC house outlet right in here. So we will not need this power converter. We'll set that to the side. What we're gonna need is this bad boy, the DC outlet for the car, and it's just one nice long cord. So uh, let's see, let's pop this in here like that. Nice tight fit, nice tight plug. And we'll go ahead and Pop this right in here. Let's see what happens. Oh, we got a beep. So let's uh let's follow the instructions on off. Press and hold for it three seconds. Ha <laughs> there we go. Yahoo! 82 degrees right here, right now. Alright, we started up the commander, we got full power to this thing. So let's unlock it, we'll press and hold settings. There we go. Now we unlock the keypad. Let's see. There we go. Power off. Power on. Hey, you can feel it when the compressor kicks on. It shakes a little bit. That's pretty cool. Let's you know it is on. And here we go. Uh, press and hold Fahrenheit Celsius. We got these two together. There we go. Now we're on Celsius. Well, America we will use uh, Fahrenheit right here. Here we go, temperature up down. Let's keep it right about freezing. There we go, nice ice cold beers. Just above freezing, we know the lock feature, but high, medium, and low. What is this? We have protection mode. All right, looks like this power protection mode is important for a car battery. They recommend it on the high setting, so let's switch this back to high. There we go, high for car. 32 degrees. Let's let this baby cool down. I can feel it. It's on. Got a nice little breeze coming through there. Right out the back. 
All right, let's set it and forget it. We'll see how cold this gets. All right, had this baby running for about 20 minutes and it is ice cold in there. So that is fantastic. It's working, time to fill her up with some goodies. Here we go, we got the cooler plugged in. It's ready to rock. Everybody say beach day. Beach day! Woo! <laughs> Afterwards, we're gonna be like, beach day. Beach day. All right, we are on our way. We are rolling three deep to the beach, not in the back seat. I'm talking about three Jeeps deep. We got my cousin's Trailhawk, and then we got the Grievous behind that. So here we go. You ready, girls? Yeah. Woo ready, Danny? Ready, Fiona? <laughs> She's ready. Yes. gonna air down I think we're gonna do about 20 because uh, I live close to the beach and God forbid my compressor doesn't work out here the portable thing fails we can still uh, drive home safely to my house so I think 20 is a good number yeah 22 that's good enough there we go we are aired down about 22 pounds in each tire and Quick question, guys. What is it better to have nice, smooth street tires or groovy off-road tires for sand? The answer is smooth tires. You want smooth tires to float on the sand. Mud tires will dig you down. You don't want that. I'm just gonna try to float across the top of the sand. So, here we go. Commander is in four low. Let's do it. Boom! About to get bumpy. <laughs> Fiona! Oh my goodness. Oh, you are such a lazy mush. Yeah, Josh. Ripping it. Yeah, Grievous. Woo! Yeah! In a joke. <laughs> Awesome. All right, guys, this is it. This is the beautiful ocean. This is the whole reason why I'm building Beach Jeep, so I can take my whole family here in one vehicle. I can't wait. It's gonna be awesome. And here it is. How beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous day for the beach. All right, I'm getting hungry. Let's check out that cooler. As we make our way back to the Commander, why don't you get a good look at this stuff? Now I know this looks very friendly and fluffy, but this could actually be quite treacherous. If you're not prepared, you could get stuck in this. That's why you gotta have a whole vehicle full of recovery gear. You want your shovel, you want your fire extinguisher, you want your winch, because if you're out here alone and you get stuck, you could have no one to save you but yourself. And uh, you better get out quickly before this ocean washes you away. I had one of my worst off-road fails on this very beach about 20 years ago. I got a video on it, go check it out. It's really quite comical. You go see me at about 13 years old. And uh, yeah, <laughs> check that out. I'm gonna go grab that cooler out of the Commander. All right, check this out guys. We got a nice refrigerator down at 42 degrees, which is pretty nice because it's 90 out here. Everything in here is nice and cold. We got about 20 sandwiches and almost a gallon of iced tea. Good to go in here now unfortunately um, we want to unplug it turn the car off and drag it out there so this is probably better suited for driving long distances or out on the trail when you're in your vehicle driving not so much parked because 
once we park, this thing will uh, just chew up the battery. But if you have a secondary battery in your vehicle, this would be huge to have on, plugged in in your car, and then you could just switch to the other battery when it's time to start her up. So I'm gonna turn off this vehicle, unplug the refrigerator, and we're gonna eat our sandwiches. There it is, guys. I am a proud Jeep owner right there. Got my Commander, I got the Grievous. Chilling on the sand, that's what Jeepin's all about on Long Island. We don't got rocks, we don't have any mud, but we do have sand and a beautiful ocean. Hey guys, meet the newest addition to our family. This little pup's name is Fiona. She's a keeper. Fiona! Scott, we need to talk. About what? About me dumping you. Huh? Smile, you too. Here's your letter jacket back. Goodbye. Now she's a keeper, huh? Oh, wow. Oh my god. Fiona! Yeah! All right, what do you say? It's time for an ice cold sandwich. Let's do this. Ooh, cookies. Yeah. All right, time to wind it down. Getting dark. We're not allowed to be here past the dark time. Get kicked off by the park police. So we're packing up. Everything was a success. The babies are nice and exhausted and crying. <laughs> and we had delicious food, thanks to that cooler. Time to get in. Come on, Fiona. Fiona! What did you think about the beach? Yes. Yes. Some nice airlines built into the beach. Fantastic. We are all aired up, ready to go back home. What a day. Right, dog? Right, wife? Hey. <laughs> and nice playground, too. Hey, General Grievous. Hey. Looking good. <laughs> I put four pounds in each saw. So. Beautiful. All right, ran great. Had a wonderful time. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> we out. All right, guys, that's going to do it for our day at the beach. We had a great time. Thank you so much, Bouge RV, for the portable refrigerator. This thing is awesome. If you guys want to get one like this, check the link in the description. As always, that is going to be a wrap for this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next project. Peace.